Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. I'm Ryan Beach and I have been absent. I'm sorry for my absence. Uh, December was a busy month with work, which is a good thing, but it's a bad thing for making videos. So I'm glad to be able to get back to making a few videos and sharing some of my thoughts. Uh, also, Happy New Year! 2022 is here and I hope that this year is better than the last two years. Uh, if not, uh, we'll just see how it goes, I guess. Oftentimes people will make resolutions or double down on their motivation or trying to find new motivation for various goals that they have. And so I wanted to share with you a goal that I have had for a while and will continue to pursue. And I wanted to share how I'm going about doing that and even give you the ability to join me on this goal if you think that's something you want to do as well. My goal for 2022 is to continue driving consistency and confidence into my trumpet production while also trying to be more musical, trying to dive more more into how to make better musical choices and not rely so much on my ear and what I've listened to, but actually come from a place of knowledge when trying to be as compelling as I can. So my plan for the production side of things is just to keep adding layers of difficulty into my routines while trying to make sure that I can still be successful while doing it. And musically, I plan to play more arias. I plan to uh, try to actually map out some of the musical decisions I'm gonna make and just to see where that plus a lot of listening is gonna take me as a musician in 2022. I've been enjoying progressing for the past year and a half or so, but at the beginning of that, I remember I made a conscious choice to start making things a little bit more basic and trying to increase the quality of what I was doing. This can happen to us sometimes in our career. We can think everything is going really well, but sometimes a few things are difficult or hard, and what we actually might need to do is say, you know what, I need to address this problem. I need to get back to the basics, I need to make things things easier and I need to actually assess what's going on so that I can build a better more consistent version of my playing overall. The way that I generally do that with my clients and I, the way I did it in my own playing was to start with the Arben book. Pick some very basic Arben exercises and to say with what quality can I play these? Can I figure out what Hokan Hardenberger is doing or X great player and can I play that well on something this basic? This video we're going to be covering my top five Arben exercises that I like to play and that I recommend other people to play and I will tell you why they are my top five as we go. Coming in at number five of my top five Arben exercises that I like to play is page 26, number 15. I like this one because although it appears to be very simple, it can be deceptively difficult to play at a very, very high quality. Some of these skips can feel a bit weird when you're trying to say, can I do this absolutely perfectly? And so I like to recommend this one and it's number five on my list for that reason. Number four on my list is page 30, number 25. I like this one because it has these bursts of four sixteenth notes. And so as you begin to increase the tempo over time, you get a little bit of a challenge for your single tongue speed as well.
Coming in at number three is one of the most classic Arben exercises there is, page 28, number 19. This is an exercise I almost always recommend my clients do in their very first routine, no matter what level they're at, because there's just so much we can learn from the pursuit of getting as good or as perfect as we possibly can with this particular exercise. Coming in second and runner up for my all time favorite Arben exercise is page 33, number 30. The reason I like this one is because there's so much challenge packed into this short little exercise. We have styles that are short and separated, like at the beginning. Uh, you can play the middle section a little bit longer. There's almost like a heroic section towards the end, and then it comes back with that short and separated section. So it's asking a lot of us to be able to say, can you play this? Can you demonstrate these different styles? And can you do it with healthy production as well? Before we get to our number one exercise, I want to say two things. Number one, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe in case you want to see more stuff like it. And number two, let's go over some honorary mentions for exercises that didn't make the list. Our honorary mentions are literally every other exercise in the entire Arbin book. They're all great. Work on them all. There's This is an arbitrary list. It's fine. They're all great. Coming in at number one, my very favorite Arbin exercise to work on is page 32 to number 29. There's a few reasons this exercise is one of my favorite exercises to work on. The first, it's a very personal reason, is that my very first trumpet teacher, Denny Schneider, used to say that if you could play this exercise with a nice little pearl on each articulation, then you were like really good at the trumpet or something. I don't exactly remember what the quote was, but he just liked to use this exercise to try to track how in shape he was. The other reason I like the exercise is because once you sort of master it, uh, playing it all kind of a similar dynamic, you can really challenge yourself in terms of different dynamics or different lengths of articulations or combining those types of things to really kind of be able to play it differently each time so that it's always unique but still kind of keeping you at a nice home base. And there we have it, my top five Arben exercises to work on. I hope this was a helpful list for you and I hope hearing me play it was also helpful for you as well. If you wanna see other top five lists of flexibility or low register or maybe another articulation one, let me know down below in the comments and I will go ahead and put that together. And if you wanna keep watching, go ahead and click the link on screen to take you to another articulation video. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next video.